So will you read the quote of the day? Certainly. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. Notice of the 24th meeting of the 2011-2012 Common Council meeting, uh, Monday, March 20, or March 19th, 2012. Call the roll, please. Push one if one you're if here. you're here, two if you're not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Come on, Fred. Try and push two. There it is. That's the start of our voting record so that you'll see who voted what. I'll explain a little, little more as we get into it. All right, 15 eyes. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance, Alderman Sampson, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Absolutely. Please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all right. Approval of the minutes, Alderman Decker. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve the minutes from the previous council meeting. Second. It's been moved and second to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Any discussion? All those in favor, push one. All in favor, push one. Opposed, two. As you see on this slide, it shows what the code is. One equals yes, two equals no, three equals abstain. So everybody will be listed. Okay. All right. Technology is moving forward. It is. Resignations. City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. There's a communication from <clears throat> Alderman Fred Felt advising that uh, he is resigning his position on the council effective March 14th due to the fact he's moving out of the district. Yes. That will be accepted and filed. Public forum. City Clerk. Okay. 1 to accept and file. Hopes a motion to accept and file. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just briefly want to thank Alderman Bell for his time and uh, that he put in. Uh, didn't get a full year, but uh, he was an asset, I believe, to this council. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, just for the public's knowing, we will, um, anybody interested in that, anybody interested in <coughs> Anyone interested in that seat should contact the city clerk's office. Uh, make sure you're in the new districts so you get the districts from uh, the city clerk's office and put in your info. We then, as a new council, will appoint the person in April. All right. All those in favor of the uh, resignation signify? We did it. Oh, sorry. That's okay. okay. Now, public forum. Okay. City clerk. Public forum. First on the list this evening is Milt Storm. <clears throat> if you would please come up to the front. Yep. 
Bill, can I have your home address, please? Yes, it's 1736 Marvin Court. And you will have five minutes, sir. Thank you. I want to thank the Honorable Mayor Van Inkeren for giving me this opportunity to address this council. I apologize because some of the things that I may address may be offensive to some of the in the audience, but I'll try to do my best. After the recall election, I received a letter from Mary Ryan, and it was addressed to the former Mayor Bob Ryan, and it included an envelope and a press article. This is the envelope, and it was 22nd of February. It's Bob Ryan and it has an address on it, return address, and it's 1736 Marvin Court, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, 53081. I did not send that letter. So let me read Mary Ryan's letter. Hi, Milt. I'm not sure if you are still pursuing a lawsuit against Vicki and her gang. If so, I thought I would send this to you. You can add it to your collection from, from them. I knew right away from the handwriting it was from them. The return address threw me off until I realized it was your address. They are so very evil, it is hard to believe that in this world we have such evil and hurtful people. Glad to be out of Sheboygan Pollux and Mary Ryan. Care, take care and see you. I did see her on Thursday because I had to go over to Southwest State Bank, Community Bank and uh, do some financial. Okay, I, moving on. I don't know what I'm going to do now, but you can all speculate and think that I, what my next move is going to be. I certainly want to thank these individuals for letting me and Bob Ryan know how selfish cooks we are and the two of us can be. Now I'm going to take time permitting that I would like to read a letter to the editor that I sent to the Sheboygan Press and the Beacon. Only the Beacon published it. Now this is from the council meeting way back in May and June of 2006. And we were debating, especially Alderman Bourne and Renee Schuster were so f fantastic about reducing our police department. And it's called Act 40. I did write the Mayor Van Inkman down in Madison, and he did send me Assembly Bill 79, which is the predecessor to Act 40, right? Yes, thank you. To the editor. For me, it was a welcome event, attending the City Council meeting June 5, 2006. When the good citizens of Sheboygan band together in a just cause, there seems to be less emphasis on diversity. Hopefully our politicians and legislators will recognize bad decisions they make, like Proposition 40. It seems to me, or appears to me, that some older person who gain a seat on this council are too eager with change. Maybe we all could learn from the first speaker of that forum who spoke from his heart rather than from his mind like some of us always do. I compliment Alderman Bob Ryan for his position and factual information about our police department and how effective they have handled crime and illegal drugs. Over the years, over the years, Alderman Renee Shusha needs to step back and re-examine her prophetic facts and ideas. When you make a mistake, just say you are sorry and move on. Also, the mayor, that's Perez, does not need to lecture as much as he does, schools out. Maybe some of us less educated are not as smart as some of his supporters are, were. He may find a few disgruntled citizens and a few disgruntled city employees that Shusha knows. I would rather see a metropolitan law enforcement run by enlarging our police department in unity with the sheriff's department. The sheriff is an elected position, whereas the police chief is under the jurisdiction of the police and fire commission. We need to get the politics of the justice system and law enforcement. Thank you. Uh, next on our list is Robert Steinbrucker, is it? <coughs> if you'd like to step up, sir. And Robert, can I have your home address? 1007 Forest Avenue. Forest Avenue? Forest. And that's in Sheboygan? Sheboygan. 
Okay, you will have five minutes, sir. Okay, won't take that long. All right. Here about a week ago, I had called Jim Boren on a situation that referred to you people rejecting the referendum. Okay, I would like to speak shortly on that. In regards to whether or not to have a full-time mayor, part-time mayor, or not have a mayor at all, I feel we should have a refer referendum to determine this. In our government constitution, which are government for the people and by the people, I think we're getting away from that. The public put you guys in office, and I think we should have a say on this. Please let us have our say in the next election on this matter and allow it to be on a referendum. Let the people vote. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. That's it. That's it. All right. Public hearings. A hearing to propose the assessment of for the calendar year 2011 against all benefited proper, properties in Parking Assessment District 1, a hearing for proposed assessments for calendar year 2011 against benefited properties in Parking Assessment 2, District 2, a hearing proposed of assessment for calendar year 2011 against all benefited properties in Parking Assistant Assessment District 4, and a hearing proposed for assessments for the calendar year of 2011 for all benefited properties in Parking District Number 5. Is there anyone wishing to speak on any of the hearings? Anyone wishing to speak on any of the hearings? And anyone wishing to speak on any of the hearings? Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to close the hearings. Second. It's been moved and seconded to close the hearings. All those in favor, one. Your button, one. Opposed, two. I did, I promise I did. <laughs> 14 ayes, motion carried. Consent agenda, Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file our all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all attached resolutions. Any, any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. One for an aye, two for a no. Three for abstention. It's 14 ayes, ayes motion carries. 4-1, communication from Menard Sonneman requesting Sheboygan adopt a towing ordinance uh, that will be referred to protection, public protection and safety. 5-1 through 5-11 will be referred. 6-1, resolution by Alderman Hammond providing the, for the sale of $4,795,000 of general obligation promissory notes will be sent to finance, correct? Yes. 6-2, resolution by Alderman Board declaring intent to exercise police powers to levy special assessment for reconstruction of Cro Crocker Avenue from South Taylor Drive to South 32nd Avenue. Alderman Board. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I make a motion that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? All those in favor will push one for an aye, two for a no. Fourteen ayes, motion carries. A resolution by Alderman Sampson accepting in decoration of certain land, dedication of certain land for street purposes. Alderman Sampson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the resolution be put upon its <coughs> passage. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. 
Push your buttons. One for aye, two for no. 14 ayes. 14 ayes. 6 4, resolution by Alderman Raisler, Bercy, Kittleson, and Decker, lifting the hiring freeze in order to hire one telecommunicator for the police department. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Okay. All those in favor, signify by pushing your button one. <laughs> 14 eyes. We're on a roll. 14 eyes, motion carries. 6-5. From Alderman Bourne, Carlson, Decker, Hammond, Heidemann, Koff, Kittleson, and Van Akron will hold to 7-1. 6-6, six, 6-7, six, 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 and Alderman Hammond authorizing a purchasing agent to enter into a contract for purchasing one video production switch unit bundle for installation and replacement of vehicles for WSCS. We'll refer to finance. 6-7, Alderman Bourne authorizing advertising for bids on concrete paving of Crocker Avenue from South Taylor Drive to South 32nd Street, refer to Public Works. 6-8, resolution by Alderman Bourne authorizing a purchasing agent to enter into a contract for the purchase of two crew cab short box four-wheel drive pickup trucks for motor vehicle department will be referred to Public Works. 7-1 plus 6-5 is from Public Works regarding working with the county and their work lender program regarding inmates work for city property. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I uh, move that 6-5, the resolution be put upon its passage, and 7-1, the report of the committee be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that 6-1, the resolution authorizing uh, I'm sorry, the uh, 7 one, six, five, I mean, from Alderman Bourne, approving to participate in the Sheboygan County Work Program be put upon its pass passage and that the RC be accepted and adopted 7 one. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor push one, opposed push two. <coughs> 14 ayes. 14 ayes, motion carried. 7-2 by law and licensing, recommending denying beverage operator license number 7301 based on failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on the application and failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Van Dweeley. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Is Jennifer Menard here this evening? She's not here. Um, the reason we denied her uh, license was because we invited her twice and she didn't appear either time. Thank you. It's been moved to accept and adopt the committee report. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, push button one. Opposed, button two. 14 ayes. 14 ayes, motion carries. 7-3, report of committee from law and licensing recommending denier beverage offer, operator's license number 8090 based on the failure to accurately reveal all relevant conditions of the application and failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderwilly. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and done. Is Jennifer Weber here this evening? She is not here. Uh, same situation, she was invited twice to our committee meeting and she didn't appear at either meeting. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor push one, opposed to abstention three. 14 ayes. Motion carried. 7-4, an RC from by law and licensing recommending denying beverage oper license, operator's license 
number 9003 based on failure to accurately review relevant convictions on application and failure to cooperate with, with the committee. Alderman Madden Willie. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Is Vanessa Molino here tonight? She is not here. She was denied based on um, recent convictions in 2012, as well as the uh, police giving us a negative recommendation. Thank you, Alderman. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all, all in favor, push one. Opposed, push two. 14 ayes. 14 ayes, motion carried. 7-5, an RC by law and licensee recommending denying taxi driver license number 9482 based on the failure to accurately review all relevant convictions on the application and record violations related to license activity. Alderman Vandewood. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Is Sean Lehman here this evening? He is not here. The committee denied his application three to one based on uh, numerous traffic violations and he had only revealed one of those. Thank you, Alderman Vanderwilly. Any other discussion? Seeing none, take the vote of all in favor, push one, opposed two. 14 ayes. <clears throat> Motion carried. Seven six, an RC by the Committee of the Whole recommending filing resolution number 154-11-12 calling for a binding referendum on whether or not the city of Sheboygan shall continue to have a full-time mayor. Halderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. Uh, I would make a motion to accept and adopt and file the resolution. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept the um, committee report and uh, file the resolution. Alderman Bourne. Uh, I'm going to vote no to file tonight. <clears throat> I had uh, five phone calls over the weekend from constituents, including the gentleman who spoke at the public forum tonight. And the gist of all the conversations were similar to the gentleman that spoke at the uh, public forum tonight. And that was uh, that they wanted to be able to vote on in November on whether we have a uh, full-time or part-time mayor. They did not tell me or neither or nor did I ask what they favored. They just told me that they wanted to be able to vote on the issue. So therefore, listening to the those constituents, uh, uh, I'm not I'm going to vote not to file this. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. Obviously, I'm not going to support the file of this document. I, and if it does not get filed, I do plan on proposing an amendment to change the wording of this document, to hopefully to satisfy some questions that were raised during Committee of the Whole. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Carlson. Any other discussion? Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just as a procedure, uh, either Attorney McLean or um, Madam City Clerk, would the appropriate time to be to, for that motion now before we vote, or do we vote if, if, it, if, it, if the vote is to file, then it would be too late to make a motion or not necessarily? Alderman, uh, Alderman. Attorney McLean. The motion. Uh, if the vote is to file, then it would be uh, killed on the council floor tonight, yes. Would and the, and the motion is to accept the committee report so we'd have to file that before we could bring forward a motion to change the resolution, if that's what you're asking. So we can still, uh, Alderman, Carl can, Alderman Carlson can still make a motion if we vote to file it tonight. If you vote against the committee recommendation. Right. Okay, but if it's voted, if it's voted to file, <clears throat> then he can't make, a, he can't make an amendment. So would it be proper to make an amendment now before we vote or? No. We can't, okay. Any other discussion? Just to remind you, the committee report is to 
to file the resolution, so an I vote is to file the resolution for the referendum, just so we're clear. All those in favor of filing the resolution, push one, oppose, push two. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we have eight ayes and six noes. So the motion carried, the resolution is filed. 777, report of the Committee of the Whole by Alderman Raisler. Sampson, Decker, and Versi reestablishing the salary of the mayor's office and passing the attached substitute of the substitute of the substitute general ordinance and accept and adopt that ordinance. Alderman Raisler. You don't want to say that again? No. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that. Uh, so, hang on a second. I got to get used to doing this so the public hears you. If you I move that, that the uh, RC be put upon its passage. It's second. been moved in. We have a second. Second. Been moved and seconded to accept the committee report and adopt the substitute, substitute, substitute ordinance. Any discussion? Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I guess just for the public, if you just kind of explain a little bit of what the motion is before us, I think that would be helpful. Explain the resolution of the substitute, substitute? Yeah, yeah I, I guess so. It's just we're looking at the, uh, this does not have the one with the part time in, right? It's just the 50,000 um, for the mayor with the increase in health insurance. Right. Okay. Just so everybody knows what it is, what we're voting on. Yeah, for the public, it would be setting the mayor's salary at 50000 <coughs> and having 18% contribution to the health insurance over the next four years term. Any question or any other questions? Thank you, Alderman Raisler. Uh, Alderman Bourne. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. Wouldn't that also include, if it would be appropriate for whoever the next mayor is in 13, that they would also pay... 6.65 into the Wisconsin Retirement Fund. Wasn't that part of the... Uh, that's, that's that's the the yes. yes, thank you. You are correct, Alderman. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other discussion? All those in favor of the resolution or of the committee report signify by pushing one. Opposed, push two. Eleven eyes, three noes. Motion carried. 7-8, committee report of the Committee of the Whole establishing salary and schedule of office of mayor and pass the attached substitute ordinance. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I would make a motion to accept and adopt and pass the substitute ordinance. Second. It's been moved and seconded to, to accept and adopt the committee report and pass the attached substitute ordinance. Under discussion. Any discussion? Alderman Raisler. Thank you, and I, I'm assuming this is the one that has the, the part-time position in it, correct? And wouldn't it be more appropriate to file it as we don't have a part-time position? In yes. It? The last one had the part-time, didn't it? No, no. This no. one does. This, this one, one does. does. Yeah. I guess I'd, I'd look to amend it to, to file it. I'm sorry? I'd look to file the uh, document instead. Second. Second. Motion to file this document and the and filing takes precedence over the committee report. All those in, so now we're looking to file this document under discussion for filing the document. You want to explain why or are you just going to let it go? I guess the explanation is it has the, uh, the language the same as which the previous one we just passed in but also has a part-time position and it just makes it cleaner to have the full time in it. Thank you. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, although I, uh, I understand where Alderman Riesler is coming from, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, this body has until August 28th to file a referendum for um, the November election. So having both scales certainly allows the next council in their purview to put together a referendum if they so choose. So having both scales I don't think hurts um, the cause at all. So um, I wouldn't support to file it. Any other discussion? Or 
right, all in favor of filing, signify by saying, or by pushing one for aye. Done. I did. Thanks. <laughs> got a sticky button, angle, got apparently. a sticky button or something. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, the vote is seven to seven. Mayor votes aye for filing. Ordinances introduced. 8-1 through 8-3, all lie over. 8-4 through 8-8 to be referred. And other matters, city clerk granting various license applications. Yeah. Jeremy? <laughs> Alderman Decker, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file and grant the licenses. Second. It's been moved and seconded to grant the license applications. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. I, I'm sorry. Oops. All those in favor, <laughs> push the button one. Half loves dog yeah. 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 Just have it. Yep. And he got an answer. 14 to none. 14 to one, motion carries. 14 to none. 14 to zero. Zero, right, 14 sorry. 14 to zero. 9-2 RO from the City Plan Commission, approving capital improvements program, recommending capital improvements commission for the period of 2012 and adopting additional projects for the implementation. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file in and approve the program as presented. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the capital improvements programs and Additional projects for implementation. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, signal by pushing one. Opposed, two. 14 ayes. <coughs> Motion carried. 9 3 and RO by the City Plan Commission annexing territory owned by the City of Sheboygan. Alderman Hammond. No, no. City Planning. I'm sorry, Alderman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Looking for I, I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file and the ordinance uh, be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the, R, the uh, RO be accepted and adopted and the ordinance be put upon its passage. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye by pushing one. <laughs> Push two for no. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 9-4, a resolution by Alderman Koth and Versi authorizing continuation of self-insured workmen's compensation plan. Alderman Koth. Thank you, Mary Van Akron. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Under discussion, See none. All those in favor, push one. Opposed, push your number two button. 14 ayes. Resolution, the motion carried. Resolution by Alderman Hammond, appropriate city officials to sign of Estapol? Estapol. Estapol. Certificate relating to development agreement between Continental 194 Fund LLC and the City of Sheboygan to be referred to finance. <clears throat> 9 6 Special Committee of Risk Management denying claim uh, for Jacob Paul Sutton for allegedly damaging damages to his vehicle when city sanitation truck hit his parked car and directing city attorney to send a notice of disallowance. Alderman Kath. Thank you, Mayor Van Eckeren. I move that the next four RCs be accepted and adopted. Second. So Alderman Kath, 96, 97, 98, and 99. Correct. All those RCs, the Special Committee of Risk Managements, and denying those claims all be put upon its passage under one motion. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, push one, opposed two. Fourteen 
ayes. 14 ayes, motion carried. Uh, 910, Public Protection and Safety, submitting a request from Kettle Moraine Area of Narcotics Anonymous to hold a fundraiser for a paintball exhibition booth and recommend a drafting ordinance to permit discharge of paintballs in a specific limited situation. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor, thank you. I ask for a motion to accept and adopt this report of committee. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and adopt the report of the committee. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, uh, Mayor. Uh, yes, we're just accepting uh, the, uh, the report of the committee. As it says, the ordinance will be coming forward. Uh, we discussed this at uh, Public Protection and Safety. The ordinance uh, <coughs> will be coming forward with the uh, uh, few changes that we made on it, so we'll be able to discuss it then. Thank you, Alderman Kittleson. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor signify by pushing your number one button. Opposed? Two. Okay. Hold on just a second. Julie threw me off a little. We haven't done 9 11 yet, though. We haven't done 9 11 yet. That was 9 10. 9 10. A glitch in the plan. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> 14 eyes. Motion carries. 9-11, a resolution by Alderman Decker suspending enforcement of the winter parking, uh, winter season parking regulations for the balance of 2011-2012 winter, winter season. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'll gladly move the pass the resolution. <laughs> second. second. It's been moved and it's been <clears throat> gladly moved and seconded to remove the winter parking. Alderman, under discussion, Alderman Ressler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, many other municipalities have gone along with the same thing, so I think it's a great idea. Oh. <laughs> Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, push the number one, oppose number two. 14 ayes. 14 ayes. On uh, number 10, Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm sorry. We're going to skip over to the other matters first so that we'll get those done when we come back. Um, City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, 9.12 is an RO by the development manager submitting a request from Chad Pelichick, development manager authorizing the closure of the 14th Street boat launch for the 2012 boating season to restrict canoe users and kayakers from launching at this facility due to the Sheboygan River dredging project being performed by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. That will send to Public Works. 9.13 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2012 and June 30, 2013. That. 9.13. Hmm. That will send to lawn licensing. 9.14 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Richard Rupnick requesting a waiver to the sex offender residency restrictions in order to live at 1021 North 8th Street, apartment 11, 710 Erie Avenue, number three. We'll send that to Public Protection and Safety. 9.15 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from the State of Wisconsin Department of Corrections to file an appeal to the sex offender residency restriction on behalf of Jason Rogie in order to place him at a Transitional Living Placement, TLP, at 1123, 1125 North 14th Street, or 930A Michigan Avenue, based on availability. We'll send that to Public Protection and Safety. 
9.16 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a petition for the vacation of a portion of unpaved street located south of 1821 South 19th Street. Thereof signed by the owners of all the lots and lands abutting that portion sought to be vacated. We'll send that to city plan. 9.17 is an ordinance vacating the unimproved land north of 1913 Elm Avenue. Send that to city plan commission. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene and close session for the item below under the exemption provided in section 19.85 for the purpose of deliberating the investing of public funds and or leasing of public property for competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. It's been moved and seconded to a motion to convene and close session for the items below provided in section 19.851E for the purpose of delivering public funds and leasing public property when competitive bargaining is closed session. Any discussion? All those in favor, push one, oppose two. 14, <clears throat> excuse me, 14 ayes. We will uh, be turning off the TV and we'll be asking all the people in the gallery to uh, leave the gallery. We'll take a five minute recess and come back in this room for the closed session. <coughs>